seven titles are Lewis Hamilton and a man who's been alongside him for the last six. Every step of the way, Pete Bonington, his race engineer. Many, yeah. many congratulations, Bono. Thank you very How much. How does this one compare to the others? Well, they're all just super special and, uh, to be honest, they're just fantastic. It's, you, can't, you can't compare one to the other. It's just to just keep building year on year and improving and finding, finding that next thing. What's the next thing? You know, each year you, you've got to climb the same mountain and, uh, yeah, it's, it's just so great to, to get up here and look at the view. Um, yeah, just fantastic. And to be honest, this year, with all the, the current troubles in the world uh, in this climate, it's... It's been really special to do it, to, to maintain focus and, and to make sure that uh, we, we, we bring the result in for the team, uh, the, the, the result that the team deserves. So, yeah, just really fantastic. Bono, well, I want to take you back to 2013. You, you well, were working with Michael Schumacher, of course, yeah, before yeah. this. And when Lewis rocked up, can yeah. you remember the first day that you guys worked together at the track? Obviously, it must have been pre-season testing. What, what, what was your first impression of this guy who rocked up? Well, it, obviously the first time that he comes to the factory, is, and that's the first time we meet and the first time we start working. And, and you said rocked up, and, and you're probably right, you know. Felt like he was a rock star walking in. I mean, just looking back at the pictures, you just think, wow. It was like, wow, this is, this is Lewis. You know, I had, you know, Michael, such a legend, a great, a, a great driver to, to, to have worked with. And then Lewis comes along, you think, well, this is the next breed, and he's here, and he's the rock star, and I'm... I'm the one in charge, so uh, it's, it's... You're a, playing bass. You're playing yeah. your, or lead guitar. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm probably the triangle, maybe. <laughs> cymbals or something, a bit of percussion, <laughs> you know. But, um, yeah, um, it was... But quite, did it surprise quite... you when you got to the track and, you you know, he put the helmet on and drove out and did those first few laps? You know, then, did it surprise you that... Or, or, or was he what you expected? I don't know. Um, I'm talking about personality, not his speed and talent, because we all know... No, he was... Doing. It, back then, I, I, he was more, it wasn't quite as polished as he is now. I mean, now, just today, just wow, his performance is like today. It just, the, the, the strength that he has just shines through. Um, does he still surprise you? Like, when, you know, days like today, does he today, still? <laughs> why, yeah, nobody could be surprised, you know, not be surprised by that performance. It's just, um, we know it, he has it in him, but when he delivers, you just think, wow, I, I didn't see that, that coming. I mean, I'm optimistic, but I didn't see it happening just like that. I didn't think it felt like, you know, mid, by mid race, once we were on the inter, we were settled into a pace. It was, it felt like he just had it fully under control. And you, you always tell just on the radio, as soon as the voice gets into this nice calm state, you think, right, this is in control. Let's just keep chipping away. There's obviously a huge amount of respect uh, going both ways between the pair of you. So yeah. uh, I wonder how your relationship has morphed over the over the years. You know, do you know when you're, you're talking about, today, for example, when he said, no, I'm going to stay out. Yeah. Um, and you know, there's a trust there, an implicit trust, I should imagine. Massive, there? massive thing. And that's what relationships are all about, isn't it? It's building that trust between each other and, and understanding what you really mean when you say something. You know, it's not just what you say, it's how you say it. And, uh, and yeah, we've, we've just, we, we've grown up over these these years um you know since 2013 i still I, I guess i still consider myself quite a young engineer back in those days um you know michael's years gave me such a such a learning ground wow it was um, a very steep learning curve but then moving on with lewis even then i still didn't feel like i was i was probably worthy of, of dealing with you know a world and already a world champ um uh, but you know it's just having the time with him and we, we've just kept improving, chipping away year on year, just trying to find what's the next thing that we can we can learn, where can we find that next bit performance. And uh, yeah, he's, he just embraces it, which is which is really great. It's the thing that people probably don't see, but it's yeah, it's just that ability to, to learn and just sort of soak up the, the next thing. But Bono, you know, I think, I've often said this to people at home, is I think you are a fantastic folly for him in terms of being a psychologist. You know, you, you and I have spoken many times over the years and yeah. you, you read his mood. You know, sometimes when the adrenaline is pumping and he says things on the radio, people at home, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're a bit surprised and taken aback. Mm. But you, you have that amazing ability to let him blow off steam and come back. Yeah. You know, is that, that's, how important is that part of your relationship? Well, I think it's, it's one of those things that I, I completely understand and fully, and fully get where he's coming from. When he's on this emotional roller coaster in a race, you know, the, 
you guys obviously know what it's about. You know, the pressure's so high, so intense, and the adrenaline's pumping, and you can understand how you can be bouncing from, from you know, massive disappointment to euphoria, and, and you've really, what I like to try and do is just to sort of maintain a level and, and allow him to, you know, experience that, but make sure I'm always sort of trying to dampen it down and make sure that we're all on a level. Okay. Cheers, dude. Thank you, mate. Well done today. Fantastic. Congratulations from Sebastian Vettel. Ever the gentleman and a podium for man. him. He, he is. Uh, there's more to come just finally. More to come from the pair of you, do you think? We're not finished. <laughs> OK, <laughs> good. Yeah. Right. Life in the old goat, yeah. There you go, there's the thing. Thank you. It should be a lively flight back to Luton uh, tonight. Um, yeah. Remind me to, uh, to avoid the Mercedes engineers. <laughs> we'll be on best behaviour. <laughs> good man.